here we go another trailer home removal looks like we're doing this at least three times a week now yeah <laughs> here we go Here's a yeah, just so folks peak. don't realize that they want to be throwing soap and water. And they want to get creative and it doesn't work that way. Make a note, people. Smoke, uh, soap and water does not work. Maybe somewhere. So that's what they had. That, that's what they had done. Uh, no, no, it's just just part of it. Oh, just part. Of it. <laughs> <laughs> that's encouraging. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, I'll have to get in there. You want to? You can get a little bit closer. Yeah. This <laughs> is part of it. <laughs> part of the experience. <laughs> It's a little sore. Don't tell me, that's how you capture them. Uh, yeah. Yeah, what subjects you teach? You're a teacher, what subjects you teach? Oh, I, I taught, uh, well, I taught special ed for seven years and then Social studies for the last 13 or whatever. And all, all your years you taught out there? That's the only place I taught. I worked in business 25 years and then became a teacher. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, I used to be a school teacher. Really? Gave it up for bees? Yeah, I have two masters. I have a master's to be an administrator. I have a master's in bilingual education with the leadership component. I have a master's in curriculum instruction specializing in... Uh, and how long since you taught? I retired 2007, retired. I think. Retired? I took out, we took out my retirement. to retire. <laughs> took out my retirement and bought these. You give me the lid that's right there on that box. So where, where did you teach? In Donna. In Donna? Yeah. Give it back to my community. So that's where you're from? Yeah. Yep. Thank you. Yeah, I, I retired three years ago. It's an honest profession. Uh, look, I wish I had known how much I would love teaching when I went into it long before when I was working in business that I didn't really love that much. <laughs> what kind of business were you doing? I was in all kinds. I, I, I was involved in telecommunications, logistics, and okay. you know that kind of stuff. Yes, sir. So, uh, I worked for a number of different companies, and most of the time I ever spent anywhere was four and a half years. And I'd find a way to get another company and move me up a step. And, you have to be a gypsy. Well, uh, most, of my, most of my time, I spent most of it in, in the San Antonio region, <laughs> except for uh, I, uh, about four years up in the Dallas area. I did my fair share of business too, and that's how I know how to run my company. This yeah, it helps, oh yeah, it does. It helps being educated. I'll tell you that much. Just knowing how to talk to people.
Interesting profession, huh? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Say the least. Don't jinx me. Oh, I don't, I don't mean to jinx you. It's just like, I'm just fascinated with that. That's the same way Bob was. That was the park manager right there. That was oh, there. was he? Yeah. And uh, he was fascinated to tell you, you know, you didn't have protection on. You hear I've been afraid to come out and get in my car. <laughs> Maybe they realize that I'm saving them. There's been several theories. The one that cracks me up the most is one of one person said that he's been around honey so much that they oh, think that they're one of him. <laughs> I, just heard, I just heard that one actually. Well, they do say that about horse trainers and people like that, you know, they become the animal. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've become one with the bees. <laughs> Pretty soon you're going to become black and yellow. Yeah, we're, or my official title is a market, commercial migratory beekeeper. So do you sell your honey? Yes, sir. Uh, you have an outlet or what? Uh, yeah, we have several locations. We sell it at the... Will you take off? Give that to me. Yes, sir. I love honey. Yes, sir. Smoke them out. I'm gonna have to get in. I'm gonna have to give me the smoker. I'm gonna have to follow. Can you see my knife? Yeah, I'll have to flush them out. I need to see if I'm going to be able to fit through here. This will be the sign if uh, you need to go back to the gym or not. Yeah, it's the winter is for. It's not broken, they just come apart. Ha! Huh. 
<laughs> yeah, I'm sure everybody else on video right will. Where's the where's the knife, man? You had it with you. I know it'll help me because I can't move in here. Um flashlight. Can't see it. Well it's in here somewhere in my back. Just point me out to the general direction where it's at. Can't see it. I'm sure, I'm not stabbing myself. Let me see the smoker. And my sprayer too. Here, you're gonna have to help me. Oh. All right. I bet there's a lot of my friends that were his friends that don't even know he passed away. Yes, sir. It was just sudden. Uh, it was during the holiday. It was, it was during that week of the holiday. Yeah. Christmas break time. Yeah, that he passed on the 19th. So, uh, by the 23rd, we buried him. Yeah, I, I know if my friends had known, they would have put, they would have put it on Facebook. Yes, sir. Oh, gosh, I used to listen to his stories. <laughs> <laughs> him, him and our principal at the time, Mr. David Howe, because David was full of stories, too. <laughs> so, so they, they, scared so they go back and forth with their story. Uh, that's what I'm looking for. Yeah, not yet. I'll show it to you. We.
mushrooms are in that cluster in there. Where? Let him settle for a little bit. The queen will work her way out and we'll find her. <laughs> be smart, be safe, be strong. So next time, we'll be having fun. <laughs>